What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we had a really cute heart of it with Penny, also made it to level 120. Oh wow, the diamond's actually done right now, man. I didn't think it was going to be done that fast, but I guess that five days went by pretty quickly there, you guys. But also made it down to level 120 in the mines. I got like a cool skeleton key or a skull key or something like that, so that's pretty good. Also, today is still Pierre's birthday, I believe. I got some comments about that saying uh, you, you should definitely gift him something before the end of the day. And we did save the game last episode at like 740 or something like that, so I'm going over here to grab a gold star parsnip. I guess we'll grab the uh, diamond over here as well, so there we go. Oh, wow, it turns to 8 p.m. and just the music just straight up stops. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's go over here. Let's go to the saloon. Uh, I don't think we have any pepper poppers on us right now, do we? We do not. OK, well, I guess. Well, oh, man, some of the oak resin or something like that is done as well. I guess we can take care of that on our way back. But uh, oh, I guess I could check the map. I do want to go check up on the saloon and see if he's over there. And if not, where is he? Is that him? Yeah, he, OK, he's in, he's in his general. OK, I guess maybe maybe he has a different schedule on his birthday. Then like every other day or something like that, maybe he's hanging out uh, inside of his shop over here or something like that. I don't know. Let's go inside. Let's see where is. Oh, there's Abigail. Oh, is that him? Hold on. See, I, I see him. I see him. I see him. Get out of the way. Abigail. Ah! Go get the heck out of the way. There you go. Golly, she finally gets out of the way. I think he's over here in the kitchen area. I think I, think I just saw. Yep, there he is right there. OK, Pierre, gold star parsnip for your birthday. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. And I just got an achievement right there for networking. What does that mean? I'm like, obviously, I know what that means, but was that like, is that for giving people like 25 birthday or like literally everyone in the town a birthday present or something like that? Let's see. Where in the world do I check it? Cheat? Here it is. Where's the networking on this? Oh, there it is right there. Reach a five heart friend level with 10 people. Ooh, OK, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if there are any achievements that I actually do. Oh, I guess I could hover over and tell me a million dollars right there, or a million gold right there. I don't know if we'll ever get that. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that uh, earn a million? I don't know. It says earn a million. Yeah, we're at 300,000. I was about to say like a million in the bank account, but no, yeah, we're actually a third of the way there. So we could indeed get that millionaire achievement. Oh, yeah. And then we also have that diamond we got out of the uh, the, the crystal, whatever, the crystallarium thing. So I'm like, I guess I could have given that to, to Pierre over there, but it seems like he liked that gold star parsnip anyways. Right. So where is he at? Oh, yeah, he's actually pretty high up. Yeah, he's five hearts right there as we got that achievement. Yeah, liked gift. Cool. So we have that birthday done. I don't know if we have any more birthdays for the month. We could always check up on the calendar a little bit later with Caroline, which, by the way, uh, we talked to Caroline last episode and gave her that necklace. I guess she noticed it in our inventory and she was like, uh, whoa, there's my necklace right there. Uh, and didn't even notice it was missing or whatever. Right. It's a fine looking day. I'm like, it's literally nighttime right now. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. Oh, that's sweet. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she does, right? Let's go over here. Let's go talk to uh, Pierre again, because I'm like, what in the world is Abigail? She's glitched. Abigail is glitched. She's going to go through the walls. She is. Abigail is a ghost. Hold on. Can I talk to her? <laughs> we had this habit. I think this is because I did the, the save anywhere mod or whatever at the end of the last episode. So some of the some of the actions here, some of the scripted actions are just kind of glitched. So Abigail obviously wouldn't be doing that right now. All right. But because it's, it's glitched or whatever she did, we're all going to hang out in the saloon this evening. Oh, yeah, because you're supposed to be there like right now. It's kind of a it's kind of like a Friday tradition, I guess. Yeah, you guys told me about this whole Friday saloon meme. Uh, well, we're all just jumped into that seat right there. Uh, and that's why I got all the gold star parsnips at one time for people. I guess I could have done it again right now. Hi there. Is your farm doing well? It is. You should know that because I sold you a bunch, bunch of stuff like last episode, right? Maybe a few of my seeds will help spruce things up. Well, maybe in a couple days there, Pierre. Not right now, though. And P oh, my gosh. Abigail's just done. She's just <laughs> she just walks off screen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wonder where she's actually headed right now, but because that save anywhere my is like glitched or whatever, she just like just straight up left. She's just up and left. Anyways, yeah, we don't have a help wanted uh, thing right there. We do have the uh, oh man, I don't know if we have the time. To, yeah, we don't have the time to go to the mines right now. I, should, I, I definitely should go to the mines. So I don't know. Maybe we, I guess we have time to maybe go to the quarry and clean out some of the stuff over there, some of the rocks and whatnot, and then make our way back here to the bus stop and stuff before 2 a.m., right? Uh, yep, oak resin right there. I, I guess this is a good opportunity for us to maybe grab these and go put those on the uh, thing down there. Or do I want to keep these here? Because I'm like, I just harvested these, so I could keep the taps here on these. Because I'm like, I walk past this pretty often, especially when I come over here and ride the, the, the mine carts all the time, right? Hmm. I, I guess we'll go to the quarry real quick. Just to break some of the stone as well as to try and get some uh, stone. Just in general, because we need a lot of stone for the barn upgrade, which we're probably going to be getting here the, uh, later this episode, you guys. So definitely want to look out for that. Uh, also, you guys said um, 
I, you guys want me to do the vault bundle. I'm like, we already did the hardest one, the $25,000 one, right? So all the all that's left are like, what, $1,000 or $5,000, like maybe $10,000 as well. And I'm starting to feel exhausted. Yeah, I need to cut down some of the trees over here as well. But I think we have plenty of wood. Yeah, we, we only need 450 wood, but I need 200 stone. And right now we only have 70. So we're starting to... Oh, yeah, then I got a comment from someone uh, reminding me about how to like lock the toolbar or whatever. I think it's in here. I looked at it before I started the episode. Or is that? Yeah, yeah, there it is right there. Okay, cool. So I guess that would like prevent things like down here from uh like, like, hold on. So I, I don't know how I can demonstrate this right now. Uh, but I, I guess if I made a staircase and put it right there, I guess something would replace that or something like that. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how that actually works out. But hey, look at that. We got some coal right there, which is pretty good. Oh my gosh, Sebastian, what are you doing? Talk to him. Uh, I don't really know you. Uh, I don't know why you're here, Sebastian. It's 1130 at night. Oh man, I'm almost, uh, what in the... <laughs> what? <laughs> he just cut down a drone. Oh my god, Sebastian. How did he do? That's the first time I've ever seen an NPC cut down a tree. Holy. <laughs> yeah, this this weird, like, save anywhere, like, glitch, if you want to describe it as that, is pretty heckin' crazy right now, you guys. <laughs> it's 11.40 right now. Yeah, let's keep, uh, keep eating some mushrooms, keep getting a little bit of energy, because, yeah, we, we're pretty much ran out. Uh, at the beginning of this episode, because we already did a bunch of farming and whatnot. You know, I, I also got comments of you guys last episode, two conflicting comments. One of you guys said that to get the uh, the large, like, cauliflower or whatever, you know, continue watering, or one of you guys said to not water, but another one said to continue watering. So I don't know which one's true. I think just to be safe, I'm going to continue watering all those cauliflowers, just try and get, you know, a higher likelihood of us uh, getting, getting the large cauliflower before the end of the month, which tomorrow is the second to last day of the month. So... Maybe tomorrow we can start working on, like, moving over some of the crops. You know, like, some of the sprinklers that are, uh, you know, don't even have any crops on. We could, we could pick up some of the sprinklers and start figuring out, like, where we're going to start placing them on that left side. Then once we do a switcheroo between the uh, left and right side with the barn and all the crops and all that kind of stuff, right? But, yeah, I also got some comments from you guys saying I should definitely keep the coffee crops. Uh, yeah, bus stop. I should definitely keep the coffee crops. As well as apparently the ancient fruit are actually planted above the coffee in my uh, in my farm area. So I, I guess we can keep them on that side because it's not like I really need all that space anyways for the uh, the barn and the and the coop and all that kind of stuff, right? So don't really think it's that big of a deal. But in my inventory, we're at 126 stone right now, which is pretty good. We should, I don't know, maybe we can go back to the quarry again tomorrow and, uh, you know, get a little bit more stone and then we'll be able to hit that 200 we're going to need for the barn upgrade. But we still have plenty of wood there. We need $12,000. On top of that, and then Robin will get started upgrading the barn. Now, I don't know if we can move the barn while she's upgrading it, because... Or, or should I upgrade it and, like, like move it now and then start upgrading it? I don't know. I, I need to think about that, but see if there are any more... Oh, whoa, there is one more birthday this month. Okay, so Emily's birthday. Now, I think I could, uh... Oh, yeah, I could hit F1 while, like, hovering over her on the counter, and it shows all this stuff. Okay, cool. So, love gifts. Is it showing the... Okay. Seven unrevealed items. So this is just showing stuff that we already know about. So she likes amethyst, aquamarine, emerald, jade. So just basic minerals and all the kind of stuff. She loves those, obviously. And if we can't get any of those, we can give her a parsnip or a summer spangle, etc. And you guys said too, also before the end of the month, which I guess would be tomorrow, uh, the last day of the month, I need to pick up all the flowers because they'll just die at the start of uh, summertime, right? So uh, definitely want to pick up all the flowers and of course pick up the uh, the apiaries or bee nests or bee whatever they're called. <laughs> <laughs> those things that uh, we get the honey out of, we need to pick those up as well and move them over and uh, replant like summer spangles and all that kind of stuff and get those going for summertime once summer starts. Probably next episode. I don't know if we'll be able to have any summertime stuff this episode, but check them on the weather, weather report. Uh, beautiful and sunny on day tomorrow. Okay, cool. Fortune teller is giving us modly perturbed. Man! All right, well, whatever. I'm like, well, that's not even, honestly, that's not even that big of a deal anymore because we already finished up the, uh, the, the mines and all the kind of stuff, so... I guess you, we shouldn't really worry about that too much, but at the same time, that also applies to like going through trash and stuff like that too, so yeah, kinda sucks there. But either way, uh, what, what else was it doing? Oh yeah, I guess we empty out my inventory a little bit of some of the stuff like the diamonds and all the kind of stuff. We have four diamonds, we have two emeralds there. Do we have any? Oh yeah, we have a ton of it. Yeah, 18 amethysts. Yeah, let's grab those and give that to Emily, I guess, for her birthday. Gotta go to the community center for the eel. Don't want to forget about that. We have two geodes we could open up. We don't have any repeats, unfortunately. Maybe I should wait until we have some repeats. That way we could have Clint open up like one Omni geode and it gives us like a diamond or whatever. And then if that, that's the case, we can come home and open up another Omni geode on our geode cracker and then you also get a diamond. So I, I guess maybe we could put up the geodes inside of here and wait until we get more uh, geodes instead of just one of each, right? Uh, then fiber. Yeah, someone said I was getting low on fiber, so that's why I started collecting them last episode. As well as, yeah, I, th I think we used some of the fiber to, uh, to make some tea 
tea fertilizer or tree fertilizer for our trees or our mahogany trees that we started growing again last episode too. So anyways, uh, oh yeah, and then that. I think I'm, I'm going to need to start getting uh, some of the busy work done here, you know, watering all the crops and stuff with like that probably for the last time until summer starts. Because, uh, oh man, there's one uh, one thing over here actually ready. But yeah, like I said earlier, uh, because someone said, oh wait, hold on, here we go, milk the cow, there you go, milk the cow. Uh, but someone said, oh wow, hold on. Are any any of those large down there? I don't think there are any large down there, but I might continue watering them into tomorrow. Yeah, none of them are large, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Man. Uh, but yeah, somebody, someone said not to water them. Another person said to water them, so I, I think I'm going to water them just to be safe. Like I said, golly. Uh, it looks like the ducks are really blending in right there. You guys see that duck? I didn't see him until we moved out of the uh, grass right there. And we got our dog up there as well. Oh yeah, we have a... Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of mayonnaise machines over here, so let's get definitely get all these over here. Pick up all the eggs and all the mayonnaise as well and sell all those. But then maybe, I don't know, sell those to Pierre and get the money like right now. That's going to help us out with the uh, with the thing, right? The, uh, the, the upgrade for the barn. Oh, yeah, there's another void egg right there. Cool. Uh, yeah, we didn't get any duck stuff today, but we did get one void egg. I don't know where the other void chicken is. I think it's a void chick, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, 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 it's incubating right now. Yeah, 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 that's why. Okay, but uh, let's get these processing here. So there you go. And we have there, and then there, there, then there, then... Yeah, okay, I think all these are accounted for. Okay, cool. I was wondering if we had anything missing there, but I guess not. Okay, so that's good. But either way, yeah, let me just take care of all the, all the stuff over here. Cows, all the kind of stuff. Did I milk all the cows? I don't know if I did. Let me check. Uh, there you go. I guess we milked them all now, right? Did we get four milk? One, two, three, four. Yes, we did. Okay, cool. But yeah, let me take care of all the usual busy work real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh, and by the way, you guys, uh, so this is something I noticed last episode. I didn't show it in the video, but I can continue. I could water some of the crops a little bit through the fences like this. So, you know, not not risking us accidentally harvesting any of the crops. I can still continue uh, watering some of them like this. So it's going to be a little bit harder. But at least I'm still able to water them, right? So that's good. I have a better angle if I try it from the left or the right. Uh, but up here up top, at least we'll still be able to water some of the crops like so, right? So that, that that's good in that regard. I'm watering a campfire, and it's still on fire. Okay. <laughs> Don't try explaining that scientist. But either way, yeah, I'll see you guys here in a bit after I get all this busy work done. <laughs> Actually, hold on, you guys. I just figured out another strategy. I think it, I think it works. But if the, if the cursor is really far away from my actual, like, character's body, yeah, it doesn't harvest the crops, because, yeah, look at that. This actually works out pretty well. Awesome. Look, look at how far my cursor is away from my body there. And look at that. I'm not harvesting any of the, uh, like, obviously ready cauliflower. That's good. And I think that should cover all of them right there. Awesome. As you can see, we have some of the honey down there as well, ready to go. But, yeah, like I was saying, we should definitely grab, like, these sprinklers right here that are obviously not watering anything anymore. Uh, grab these, except for some of the cauliflower. They were watering some of the cauliflowers, but, you know, grab some of these. And that's going to help us out with the planning and stuff like that that I do want to get done tomorrow in game. Uh, but, yeah, I already got the cherry tree, I already got the tea tree, all the kind of stuff. I don't know if I need to do anything else off camera, honestly. Except for, of course, I, I obviously wanted to get some of the, uh, yeah, I don't want to get any of the flowers accidentally there. Uh, but I think some of the coffee is done today as well. Uh... Some of these might be ready to go. I'm not sure. I think I might wait till tomorrow for some of those. Yeah, some of the coffee over here. Yeah, I, I guess we'll grab all the coffee there and just maybe maybe continue growing these. Maybe continue planting them down. Yeah, those right there. Okay, those right there are the ancient fruit you guys are talking about. Okay, yeah. Keep those. Apparently those take 28 days, so I think they might be done tomorrow. Uh, okay, these must be... He's just not done. Oh, oh, yeah, those are strawberries. Okay. But yeah, these are the ancient fruit. Yeah. Oh, what? Man, I keep accidentally grabbing flowers there. <laughs> but I guess maybe down here is probably fine for, uh, you know, more coffee and all that kind of stuff. And then up here would be fine for, like, the barn and the coop and all that kind of stuff. And there's still going to be plenty of room and uh, all that kind of jazz, right? So I guess we could actually get a little bit of a head start in that regard, right? By planting now some of the coffee like so. Like the ancient fruit and the kind. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do that then, right? So let's, let's just do this. Some of this is already fertilized, like pre-fertilized from, uh, like, parsnips or potatoes or whatever, garlic, whatever we grew here beforehand. I do have to re- Oh, wow, look at that bird. Uh, we have to re-till this right here. There you go, and we're, we're, going to, we're going to have to manually water that as well. But I might want to look into if we could fertilize that as well here sometime soon, too. But for right now, yeah, I guess this whole strip down here, we could actually uh, re-till all this land and start planting some of the some more coffee down here. And I might grab some more of the regular coffee that I actually have in storage and continue planting that down here. And this will just be 
nothing but coffee and then a little bit of ancient fruit and then maybe uh I don't know, maybe like when it comes to winter time or something like that, we'll actually uh, move all the coffee and all that kind of jazz into the greenhouse. Because surely we should have that done by then, right? So anyways, yeah, let me continue uh, taking care of all this coffee stuff over here. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And I don't know, I, I guess we'll give... Hold on, it's three... Okay, yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll go pay Emily a visit like right now or something like that. Maybe later in the day we'll... It's not really that big of a deal if we don't uh, plant all the coffee. Oh, I can get some of the... Good yeah, we have 23 right now, so we can actually plant a pretty good amount of them right now, which is pretty good, so... There you go. I just I just can't fertilize all of them, right? Maybe maybe a little bit later. Then, yeah, there you go. We still have all this room over here, too. But, yeah, all these sprinklers are completely working. Uh, might want to move this, maybe, or... I don't know. Then we have random strawberries here, and then these aren't doing anything. I don't know what to do in that regard. Uh, but, yeah, apparently some of you guys also said uh, some of the mahogany trees over here. Uh, in regards to the mahogany trees, not to cut them down, because... You know, after a little while, they'll actually give you... Oh, wow, a bunch of stuff up here just finished up. Cool, a bunch of pickled cauliflower. Nice, a lot of money. And that frees up a bunch of kegs and uh, preserving bins and stuff. Awesome. So, you can get some good money out of that, I'm sure, right? Uh, yeah, let's just go over here. I was about to say, do I want to... Yeah, we can sell this to Pierre or some of that Saturday right now. Nothing's over here done. Do we have any worms in the ground? Uh, I do not see any. Yeah, I don't see any right now, man. All right, well, let's just go over here, and I guess we'll see if uh, Emily's just hanging out over here. It is Saturday. I'm pretty sure she hangs out in the saloon, so if we can't find her right now... Oh, yeah, look at that. We have a mission. Uh, we could probably find her in the saloon a little bit later, right? There's Abigail right there. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, we already know that. What was this job right here, though? I'm looking for wild horse rash to enjoy while reading Blue Tower. Caroline, 150 gold and makes uh, Caroline happy. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure we have that somewhere in storage, right? Uh, but I guess while we're here, uh, let's definitely try and sell some of the stuff to Pierre while he's still open. If we want to remember to come to him in two days at the start of summertime, and actually get some of the new crops and start planting those immediately, right? Uh, but let's sell some of the stuff like the cauliflower juice, the mayonnaise, the... what was that? Pickled cauliflower? Yeah, wow, 3,900 right there. Boom. Then avoid mayonnaise. Uh, I need to see what time Robin closes. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Do, do I want to do that right now? And Because we we're still missing a little bit of stone. And sell the void mayonnaise as well. Get a little bit of money on that. Same with the gold star cheese. Duck mayonnaise, wow, that's really good money. Almost 525 from each one. That's actually really good, you guys. Wow. Yeah, 1050 from the two duck mayonnaise. Let's do that. Because I, I don't know. Do we need that for anything? Let me, let me double check. Uh, yeah, no community center or anything like that. Do we know if we could do anything with it? Uh, no, we do not. Except for, of course, like making a t-shirt or something. I, I, oh, wait, that's how you get the shirt that I'm currently wearing. The aquamarine shirt. I'm sure that's what I'm wearing, right? I'm sure that's what. Yeah, there it is right there. So this, this shirt is made out of like duck mayonnaise. What? <laughs> I guess that's a little interesting uh, fun fact there, right? Then I uh, sell the tulip honey and the blue. Yeah, so we're saving the regular honey to make meat or something like that, right? In the kegs. Uh, but we could sell the flower honey and get some money out of those and uh, duck mayonnaise. You know what? It, we're going to the community center uh, anyways for the for the eel. We have we have thirty two hundred dollars. We could probably do the uh, vault bundle. Oh, yeah, we have pepper poppers right there. I didn't even notice that. I want to actually eat those like right now. Honestly. Hey, there's Abigail. Let's talk to her in here. Uh, just a sec. Right, eat the pepper poppers. Probably should have got that done while uh, while I was doing some of the last minute farming. Right. But uh, oh, wait, there's someone else down there, too. The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. Well, you're not even near the mountains. I wonder if the frogs will make an appearance soon. Ooh, I've seen frogs pretty frequently. Oh, it's Shane, actually. I've really grown attached to Mari's chickens. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It sounds kind of creepy, honestly. But, uh, Pierre, what do you have to say? If you find any wild produce, I'll take it off. Yeah, he's just saying the same thing he usually says. So I actually commented I need to talk to, uh, go to Marnie's house, and we'll have a cutscene with Shane or something like that. I don't know if we have to go there during a specific time, because he's literally over here. If it will teleport over there if I go there right now, I don't know. But either way, Leah, I love to decorate for the different seasons. Oh, yeah, I've noticed that. I've noticed your house has, like, cool decorate. I'm, like, running into her, and she's, like, shaking there. <laughs> We've seen, like, Christmas decorations and stuff like that in her house beforehand, right? Jody tells me you've really become a part of this community, and I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, me too. Or, did that make sense when I said that? I don't know if that made any sense when I said that out loud. <laughs> but I know, uh, Emily, I think she lives here, right? Let's see if she's actually here. Oh, yeah, we could literally, I keep, this, this is why I keep saying this. Uh, oh, wait, no, I guess she is in the saloon right now. Uh, get out of the way there, Haley, my friend. I'm feeling an urge to go shopping. Ugh. I wish there was a mall here. Uh, well, maybe there can be one here sometime soon. We have a um, mildly perturbed, but I'll still go through the- Oh, Marty! Oh, no, I was- I didn't go through the trash. What are you talking about? <laughs> She's still laughing at the heck in underwear. Or the, uh, just the purple shorts. I don't even know if- are these supposed to be sh underwear, or are they supposed to be, like, actual just straight-up shorts? Hey, look at that! There's my girlfriend, Penny. Uh, things have changed. Oh, yeah, speaking of Penny and Shane and all that kind of shenaniganry- shenaniganry? <laughs> you guys said, uh, like, not to add, like, 
to straight up break up with Shane, just to like ignore him in the background or else he'll reset him to like five hearts or whatever, which is what Pierre's at right now. And we haven't really even focused on him. So yeah, that sets him back a ton there. So I guess we'll just ignore it and maybe let things fizzle out between us, I guess you could say. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Uh, don't need to actually give him like burnt roses or whatever the uh, smelted bouquet actually gives you, right? <laughs> Anyways, things changed a lot after the Jojo Mario. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, she said this a uh, few times beforehand, so don't need to hear that again. Uh, is there anything else I want to do around here while we're in the area? Oh, yeah, need to go to give Emily a birthday present with the Amethyst. Yep, she's working up there. Cool. So let's go give her... There, it's right there, Amethyst. Pretty sure we saw that in the uh, in the thing for her, so this should be a loved gift, right? A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Yeah, I'm sure you love it, because we, we have that written down somewhere in our notes, right? Where is she at on this? Uh, wow, wow, she really shows. She's at six hearts right now. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, she likes all these different minerals and stuff like that. Cool. And wool random. Oh, I guess it makes sense because she's like a seamstress or whatever, right? So that's really good, you guys. Nice. Look at that. We're really getting a great relationship with like everyone in town, you guys, except for Pam, I guess. Pam isn't responding. I wonder why. Golly, it's Saturday at 6 p.m. and she's already not responding. Golly, that's terrible. Anyways, let's go to the community center, and uh, I guess we can do, we can buy some of the maybe some of the cheaper vault bundles or something like that. I don't know. But we also need to do the aquarium over here and give it an eel, right? Pretty sure that's uh, like for the night bundle or something like that, right? That's ocean fish. Where's night at? Yeah, there it is right there. Okay, cool. So let's give it the eel. It's an iridium eel, so it's kind of an expensive one, but what are you gonna do? We still need a wall eye, which I'm sure we looked that up beforehand. Yeah, raining. Oh, yeah, fall and winter. So obviously we can't get that for a little while. I might want to actually write that down in my notes in case we ever come across it. And we have six sprinklers we picked up. That's a pretty good amount. Uh, we still need to go to the quarry and get a little bit more uh, stone and all the kind of stuff. And then uh, let's, let's just see how much it would cost to get all the vault bundles. So 2,500, 7,500. Okay, 17,500. And then after that, we'll still have like 15,000 in the bank. So I can still do the barn upgrade. So do I want to do it right now? We have the money. We have 32,000. And we're going to get even more once we harvest all that coal fire and sell it and all that kind of jazz. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's do it. Instead of just doing like one or two of these, I'm like, we can afford all of them. I might as well do, you know, all of them or none of them. And I think I'm going to do all of them. 10,000. Purchase. Boom. And we get a reward there for a uh, lightning. OK, cool. So we have five of those things now. OK, cool. And yeah, I, I completely forgot you get a reward for every uh, bundle that you complete. And 2,500 right here, too. And then we get a three chocolate cakes. Ooh, cool. I thought that was something else at first before I hovered over it. <laughs> Take a guess on what I was thinking there in the comments. But yeah, after this, we'll still have a uh, 15,000 or, you know, 14,500. You know, just doing rough math and whatnot, right? But boom, there you go. Bus repair. I guess overnight, the Junimos are going to repair the bus or something over there. And then we'll be able to go to the desert like you guys keep on talking about, right? So that's going to be really cool. What do we get for the 5,000 bundle? Whoa! We got a bunch of quota. That's actually really good. I'm like I said literally earlier with the coffee and all that kind of stuff that I, uh, oh, whoa, what happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're going to repair the, uh, the safe or the vault or whatever now, right? Like they did with the boiler room and the... We're happy to help. It's not our house after all. Whoa, look at that. Man, they really fixed this place up. That is really cool. So now we have the vault room cleaned up, repaired, whatever you want to describe it as. The boiler room repaired. I wonder what happens with the bowls. And I guess it'd be the hallway or something like that. I don't know. Then I guess the aquarium would be this whole entire living room area over here. And this guy's going to deposit one of the stars. That actually means we're halfway done over here. Boom. Yeah, look at that. And then of course, the crafts room over here is done as well. Uh, how close are we with this again? And what happens? How do we get that area over there repaired? I don't know. Yeah, artisan bundle. What are we missing here? The goat cheese. Yeah, apple, apricot. Yeah, so once we upgrade the barn, we should get the goat cheese and same thing here. We get the large goat milk and, of course, the wool. Because I don't know when we're going to get the rabbits. We need to upgrade to the large or the deluxe barn or whatever first to get that, right? And this guy's going to keep following us around, I believe, right? But yeah, so we, we made some great progress there. And I believe overnight the Junimos should repair the... Oh, yeah, and then the horse ranch for uh, Caroline. I don't know if we're going to come across any just out and about just foraging and whatnot. And if we do come across any... Hopefully she hangs out in the saloon or something like that, right? Because it's 7.50 right now. It's relatively late. I guess we'll go up here anyways and you know, see if there's any uh, worms, anything around here. Nothing. No foraging. Nothing. But I'm also, at the same time, I'm pretty sure uh, we have some... What in the world? Just random sap right there. I, I guess maybe Sebastian cut down a few more trees on his weird war... Pa hey, look at that there. Your horse rash. Is it, was it horse rash we needed for that mission? Or was it uh, Skulky? 
you found a strange looking key in the oh yeah i forgot we got this thing in the journal i didn't even read it last episode when we got down to level 120 <laughs> discover the purpose of the skull key delivery uh two days yeah wild horse. okay so we have the horse rash right there and then prismatic jelly yeah i don't know if we'll actually get that i, I kind of want to make a little bit of progress over here honestly and then another horse rash right there uh so i i guess we'll go over here to the quarry maybe cut down a few more uh rocks and then i, I guess we'll ride the uh the thing over to the mines and maybe maybe get i don't know go down to like level 40 or something because like, I, I don't want to be too deep down in the mines and then of course yeah we could also go to that uh, area with all the stumps and uh we can find a bunch of slimes over there and hopefully some of the slimes over there are the uh where am i going here bus stop town uh mines yeah but uh so with all the stumps with the hardwood and all the kind of stuff because that, that has a bunch of slime spawning over there but i know over here was it ice layers or something like that we came across a lot of uh i think it was yeah we came across a lot of uh not slimes but boulders and i want to get boulders so i get it wow found the way down immediately right there amazing but i do want to come across a bunch of slimes as well as boulders slimes obviously for the slime or a prismatic slime mission and boulders to get a bunch of stones so i could actually have the uh upgrade or whatever right and there's just a regular old slime right there yeah and see if i if i see any of these slimes like rotating colors between like blue and, and green and red and yellow and all that kind of stuff that means it's a pr prismatic one it'll stick out like a sore thumb wow found a uh, winter root right there cool uh yeah anything around nah nothing there no no boulders around here unfortunately there's not many stones around here either how are we doing on the uh stones right now by the way i, I definitely want to check them on the wow found the way down nice i definitely want to check them on that here in just a minute just to see how our progress is on that uh we're at 143 okay cool it's 950 right now let's get the sword to break those cool break these around here as well i think we should start seeing some boulders in this area right yeah i, th I think i see a boulder there on the right side okay cool so we actually have a uh I think those give you either 10 or 12 stone. I forget the specific number, but I do know I'm like, it's worth, you know, getting the boulders because they give you more stone for basically doing four hits right here, right? So three and four, boom. We get to 10, okay, cool. So you get 10 stone from each boulder. That's really, really good. Uh, let's continue breaking all this stuff over here. Break some of the stone, break the crate. We get something good. Ah, I didn't get anything at all, man. Ah, well, that sucks, but at least we're getting a bunch of stone over here, which is really good. I haven't found any uh, prismatic slimes, unfortunately, but it is a 1.2% chance. We haven't really come across any many slimes, actually. We have come across like three of them, but not too crazy. I haven't even found the way down yet either. Golly. Wow, found a uh, frozen geo right there. Awesome. Uh, I want to put up the, let me have the sprinklers. Yeah, wait, what? Four scroll two. Wait, hold on. Which? I think it was four scroll four we're missing, right? I keep having to check over here. Yeah, we already have two. We need four. And yeah, I guess that's also something we could do too, is maybe uh, maybe tomorrow in game. We can come back to the mines, go to level uh, whatever layers are for the... I don't think you find the way to... Yeah, I don't think you find the way down from the... Oh, wow, found it right there. But, you know, go down to the layers that have the uh, like the the magma or whatever down there as well. I, th I think if you're trying to sell it, you only get like one gold or something like that, right? Yeah, you get only one gold. It might be a good gift, maybe. I don't know. I guess for right now, we can put the stone up inside the slingshot. Uh, we have 172 right there. We're not able to pick up any more, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks here. Yeah, I knew I should have emptied out my inventory before I came in here. It's 1110 right now. Do I want to get rid of anything here? Winter root for... I don't know, maybe bat wings. We have a lot of those. Mm, probably going to get a comment from someone saying I shouldn't have done this, but... I guess there we go. Cool. So, <laughs> at least we're hopefully uh, making a little bit of room here. And then we have... Yeah, I think that's just a regular... Yeah, those are regular slimes. Yeah, they're not... Yeah, they're not prismatic. Or, uh... Yeah, they're not prismatic. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Let's see. What's that over there? Oh, wow, a bunch of, uh, what is that, copper down there? Nice, okay, and a boulder. Oh, wow, we found a way down there as well, nice. We have a boulder, we have a uh, aquamarine or something right there as well, and the, as well as these uh, little, little sprite guys too, cool. So we can kill these guys. I kind of want to go to the adventure. We haven't gone there in a little while, and I know we got a thing in the mail. Wow, another way down right there, cool. As well as uh, crystal fruit. Actually, you know what, might want to get that, because we can get pretty good money out of crystal fruit wine, I believe, right? And yeah, we don't have the inventory space for that, unfortunately. We have a bat. Ah, man. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll drop... We have 20 stone right there. I'm like, obviously, I can deposit that back there, right? Uh, hold on. How do I do that? Yeah, get rid of the bat wings. Uh, there you go. So we have 192. That's actually pretty decent right there, you guys. Not bad. So we pick that up. I don't know. Get rid of the slime. I'm pretty sure we have tons of those, too. Maybe get rid of, the, rid of the, one of these over here, too. I don't know. I might. Yeah, get rid of that. Just so we can get the, uh, the copper ore, as well as this, which is the aquamarine. Awesome. And the crystal, crystal fruit. I want to grab that as well, sap. We have some of the... We have plenty of sap. I don't think it's... I don't know. Let's get rid of that, at least right now. There you go, cool. Now let's leave. See if we have any more slimes. We have more of these guys right here. Yeah, so we can kill more of them. Go ahead, definitely want to go to the uh, Adventures Guild. Maybe uh, sometime here pretty soon. It's 1220. You know what? I think I'm going to leave. Let's just leave right now. Uh, but I do want to see what our progress is uh, in terms of, you know, killing all those guys as well as like slimes and whatever else that they want us to do over there, right? Let's go over here to the bus stop. And in the morning time, yeah, this should be repaired. So that's actually something to look forward to, you guys. Really cool. 
Uh, it's also 1240 right now, so maybe do we start? Yeah, we have a little bit of speed right now. Okay, uh, let's actually get those fertilizers and let's actually start fertilizing some. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's grab the coffee over here. Yeah, coffee beans right there. Uh, let's see. Let's put, put this, some of the forging, anything that go up in there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, then, yeah, some of the gold star, silver star in there as well. We have 42 coffee beans right there. Um, I guess I'll grab some of those. Yeah, and then put those, like, right next to each other, I guess. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. It's 12.50 right now. We still have some speed. Let's keep going around here. Yeah, all this is watered. Don't need to worry about that. Of course, everything down here is automatically watered, so don't need to worry about that either. Uh, let's see if anything down here can have quality fertilizer, and if not, then it's getting quality fertilized, like so. That way we have a higher likelihood of getting gold star, etc. cetera, uh, beans, right? So there you go. This is already pre-watered, I believe, right? So don't need to worry about that, and then fertilize them. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. It's 1.30 right now. Do I have the time to get... Yeah, I don't think we have the time to keep on breaking that stuff down there. So I guess we'll just do this here with all the, all the slots that are already watered. There we go. Uh, maybe, maybe do this too. And then it's 140. I guess we could water this. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Uh, then I don't know. Maybe, maybe we could fall asleep out here. 14,000. Oh, we're going to be losing a lot of money. It's already 150, so I guess, I guess we'll just heck and fertilize some of them, right? So, uh, boom. There you go. Ah, there you go. I fell asleep on my coffee beans over here. <laughs> All right, well, at least uh, I got a pretty good job. Oh, and there we go. The Junimos are repairing the bus. And is the bus repaired? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. And now I'm in my bed, a uh, thousand gold or so short of what we had before I went to like passed out in the middle of our heckin' farm, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, now now let's put a bunch of the stuff up inside of there. There we go. Cool. Uh, do we have any... How many geos do I have? Do I have frozen geos here? I think I do, right? Where are those at? Because it just stacked up, didn't it? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we have frozen... Yes, yeah, so we still have just one of those geos. Kind of want to wait until we have multiple and then we'll uh, open those up, right? But for scroll, I guess we'll put that up over there and then we need to go to Caroline as well. And I guess we'll continue planting some of the coffee and all that kind of stuff too. But uh, gold star, silver star, take care of all this over here. Today, yeah, today is the last day of the month. Let's go see if we have any large cauliflower, and if not, I guess we'll just harvest all of them, right? So, uh, let's see, what else am I doing here? Uh, I guess we're not doing anything else. Okay, yeah, and I guess we'll put that, uh, over by the other lightning rods behind that bear or something like that, right? So, anyways, let's just go outside, I suppose, and, uh, see if there's anything happening out here. Any, any large cauliflower, or... Nope, no large color. Hey, look at that. We got more green beans over here, though. It looks like more of our uh, mahogany trees started growing as well, so that's cool. Awesome. So, anyways, I guess we'll get some of the busy work done milking the cows. Hey, I said the right thing right there. Instead of saying milking the chickens and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, you know, pet the chickens, milk the cows, and, of course, pet the void chickens, pet the pet the ducks. Yeah, right there. There's a duck. Uh, the duck right there. Uh, oh, is the, uh, is the other void? I wonder if the other void egg is actually done incubating by now. I definitely want to check up on that. I don't know if we could actually check up on that by, like, F1-ing while hovering over it, and it'll tell us, right? Like that. Let's put some water in our dog's bowl. There we go. Uh, let's go check up on it, see if anything's actually done over there. Did I pet all the chickens? I guess maybe I did. Oh, wait, nope, there you go. You got petted, and you got petted, and what about you? Okay, I guess you got petted as well. Okay, cool. Look at that. Whatever this tree is right here is actually getting pretty close to done. What is that? That is the orange tree, and it's going to mature on summer 7th. Ooh, okay, cool. So that's actually going to be uh, three weeks of getting oranges, I suppose, right? Because you get those every single day whenever it bears fruit, so that's actually pretty good. When's this going to be done? Summer 10 in 10 days. And this one's going to be done summer 14. Uh, so we're going to get two weeks worth of peach tree, which is pretty decent. Uh, we only need one for the community center, I believe, right? And then, uh, so this is for the springtime, and then, yeah, this is tea, so we get these every single day, so don't need to worry about that. But we have a lot more mahogany over here done as well. Definitely want to check up and see, and yeah, I, I guess I'll just harvest all this over here too, so, uh, because I don't know if any, any time will, can, you know, like, pass throughout the day, and, oh, I forget the, ah, I'm probably getting comments, probably getting so many comments about that, uh, the kegs and, and preserving bins and stuff like that over there, but I guess we actually have a use for all the, uh, cauliflower we're starting to harvest right now, right? Just go throw them up inside the preserving bins, preserving kegs, whatever you want to scrap it as. <laughs> and get a lot of money out of them, because golly, we saw we got, like, how much? Like, 500, 600 out of each pickled cauliflower and uh, cauliflower juice and whatnot, right? Really, really good money there, right? So, anyways, yeah, it's still taking me a while to get all these over here. Yeah, remember, we're going to need a lot of money to get seeds. So, yeah, let's not, let's not spend a huge amount of money today. Uh, even though it is Sunday and the Traveling Trader is available today, do not want to, you know, spend too much money, because we need a lot of money to get uh, seeds tomorrow, right? And, uh... Because it's Sunday, 8.30. 
yeah, let's go down here, and I guess we're not getting another harvest of strawberries, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Uh, some of the call or uh, some of the coffee over here is actually done, so, uh, you know what, let's grab, you know, harvest this, or uh, till some of the land, need to water some of it as well, and then uh, I guess we'll plant down some more coffee over here, because we still have a few beans we could actually lay down, and I'm sure the coffee's going to be ready to uh, harvest here again pretty soon as well. We'll get even more beans. And I guess we'll have this whole entire area over here, pretty much south of this little pond, is just going to be coffee and ancient fruit and stuff like that, right, so... Uh, then, of course, all the regular crops are going to be to the left of the uh, the pathway right here, left of all the trees and stuff like that, right? And we have one random uh, thing right there. And then we have uh, sprinklers right here. I don't know if I want to actually use those. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's get the uh, fertilizer back. Oh, whoa! Looks like we have some pine tar done down there. Ooh, really cool. Uh, I guess we'll continue planting down some of the coffee over here, at least in places where... Oh, wait, hold on. So this... Yeah, I guess we'll put a sprinklers down right here, right? Yeah, put a sprinkler down there. I don't know why there isn't a sprinkler there already, but <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's continue tilling some of the land here. And of course, I'm going to have to manually water it because the uh, sprinklers have turned off for the day, unfortunately. Yeah, let, let me continue planting down all the coffee over here. A train is passing through Stardew Valley. Ooh! So what was what the significance of that again? I forget. Man, I'm like, I know last time that happened, I got literally ran over by one of the heckin', by the heckin' train, and I had to do some, like, thing where I, like, paused the game to make sure I didn't actually die during that, right? I don't think there's anything else down, done down here, yeah, unfortunately there, but, yeah, some of the mahogany trees over here are done as well. I guess we'll check up on that tree, maybe, or, I kind of want to check up on the eggs over here, too. It's 1240 right now. Yeah, that's not done just yet, unfortunately. I guess we'll grab the eggs. I guess we have enough time now. Maybe uh, go check up on the uh, the train, the passing train. Oh, yeah, and then we have the, the bus stop done now, too. So I guess while we're up in the area, we can ride the minecarts down. Oh, yeah, and then we need to give uh, Caroline the horse rash or whatever she wanted, right? Uh, then we could ride the bus stop down to the... Or the minecarts down to the bus stop and see what that's all about. And then maybe next episode we'll uh, actually ride the bus. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So is this still uh, passing through or did I miss it? Man, I guess I missed it. Golly. Ah, that sucks. But anyways, uh, do I want to get any more stone? We have 192 right there. I guess I'll get a few of them. Yeah, I'm like, they're just sitting around here, right? So, yep, there you go. Just grab these stones over here. That are just, oh, wow, we got a frozen geode randomly right there. What in the world? That must be crazy luck that I got that, you guys. That was crazy. Uh, we have, oh, we need two more. Two more, uh, stone and we'll be good to go. I guess we'll just leave. Uh, whoops, but <laughs> just completely missed right there. Uh, a few... Uh, coal right there. Let's actually grab those. There you go. Cool. Nice. Uh, and I guess we'll go ride the minecarts, like I said. Go back and then we'll see what the bus stop now uh, looks like now that it's been repaired, right? And we have Linus right there. I don't know if we have anything we can give him. Yeah, see, we have all these, like, crops and stuff like that in our inventory. We're not able to do anything with them. Other than, of course, sell them, but it's just taking up a bunch of room in my inventory, so. I guess we'll put those up in storage and then maybe, uh, we'll start, I don't know, moving some of the sprinklers, getting some planning done and all the kind of jazz here in just a minute. Let's go to the bus stop. And, oh, whoa, Pam is over here. What does she, what does she have to say? Hey, did you hear about the old bus? Yeah, I know about it, because I got it repaired. It was all me, Pam. <laughs> yep, I'm back on the saddle, kid. <laughs> Feels nice. So is she the bus driver? I never knew that. Pam is the bus driver. Huh. I don't know, I guess maybe next episode we'll actually ride the bus, because, uh, I don't know, maybe not next episode, I don't know, maybe late next episode or something like that, I don't know. Uh, because... You know, start of summer, that's going to be quite a big deal. Let's put uh, more of those things back there, I suppose, right? And we have all this done over here. Uh, 3.20 p.m. I don't know, dude, I, that's, tw that's 12000 that's a lot of money. I don't know if I want to spend that right now to move the barn and all that kind of stuff just yet. Oh, yeah, I, I could move the barn, I could move the barn, all that kind of, I could move those, but I just can't upgrade it. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Can I, m I don't know if, can I move stuff to where the land has already been tilled? I, I guess I would... Go to the mines. Ah, I was just there. I guess I'll check. Hopefully I'm able to m move the, the barn and the coop and all that kind of stuff while all that land is tilled. And if not, then I guess I'll have to manually, like, until the land between tomorrow and, uh, today and tomorrow. And hopefully I'll be able to move it tomorrow, right? And then make all that room for, uh, our, our crops and all that kind of stuff. Well, let's go over here to Robin. See if we'll be able to move all the stuff now. Uh, construct farm buildings, I think that's it. And then move buildings. So can I move the, say, the barn? Oh, I can! Awesome! Put the barn there. Okay, yeah, see, look at that. The barn being pushed up all the way up to the edge right there. Doesn't even uh, block any of that stuff, and I guess we'll put this here, and then maybe we'll put the, uh, the silo there. Yeah. And then I guess we can move this, this gate over by, like, one, and that would be fine. Okay. Cool. So that's interesting there. And then over here, we have all this room now, right? Yeah. And then what I want to do is maybe put... Yeah, let's go get the iridium sprinkler, and then I guess we can make a specific area for iridium sprinklers. Then, uh, oh yeah, maybe I'll go, what, what day, of, uh, 
I don't know what day that that sewer guy sells Iridium, but that's ten thousand, I think, right? And that's a lot of money. I don't know if I'd be able to buy another one because hmm. I, I want to have some good money, you know, to get a bunch of seeds tomorrow. So, kind of want to save our money at least for today. And then I think I'm going to push these pathways up by like one, and then maybe I'll move the the kegs and all. Maybe I'll move all those up to like right there at least for right now. Yeah, and then we'll still have all this room down here, and then of course all the way down here for all the farm area. Okay. Then of course maybe. Yeah, maybe tomorrow when all the crops, all these crops die, I'll like f move the fences to like down here, so we can, they can still have all the water over here, but all this over here, and then uh, where where could I refill? Oh well, I, I guess down here is where I could refill my water from now on, and then we have all these trees down here, of course. Yeah, definitely want to tap them too. Don't want to forget about that. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing the, the the layout that we've got going on here, and of course, I guess yeah, I guess it's a good thing I didn't uh, do anything here, so we could actually move all these up, and we still have a we have a little bit more farmland to start out with. Okay, interesting. So that, that worked out pretty well there. Thank you very much, uh, Robin, for doing that for free. Uh, let's see, shop. Is she selling anything here? I don't think so. Manicured pine. What? House plant. Dark couch for 2500 Uh, Yeah, I don't think we need anything here. Telephone. Yeah, see, I'm like, like I said, kind of want to save my money. Don't need to sell any, or don't want to don't wanna buy anything. I could sell stuff, but I don't want to buy anything, obviously. Let's go find uh, Caroline. Should be able to find her. Where? Where are we going to find her? Where is she on this? Oh, yeah, and then, yeah, the traveling person, uh, it's Sunday today, so, where is she? Oh, she's, like, right there, ran she's here in this general area, or where is she? Yeah, yeah, she, oh, oh yeah, she likes to hang out by a, a tree, like, under a tree or something like that, right? I think we've seen her in this tree. Yeah, yeah, there she is, right there, cool. So, what does she want? She wants the horseradish, I believe, right? So, there it is. Give her the gold star one. There you go. Hello, Waffle. Is that the wild horseradish I requested? Thanks so much. Huh. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. All right, cool. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Yeah, underneath this really beautiful tree. Do you ever take a day off? Uh, Mondays. That's like my only day off. But yeah, I, I guess I do. And then, uh, yeah, t yeah, because today's Sunday. Um, I guess, yeah, we can go to the traveling person, traveling salesperson. Go to that hardwood, like, stump area. You know, kill some of the slimes there, and hopefully you, we're going to come across the, uh, prismatic slime there. I don't know if we'll go to the mines again, honestly, but at least we tried this mission, right? And then tomorrow, the first day of the month, We'll get another one of these missions, right? But uh, it's 430. I guess while we're in the area by Pierre, he should still be open, right? Uh, he could buy some of our mayonnaise and whatnot and kind of offload some of the inventory space there. Yeah, seats for sale, but yeah, it's literally the last day of the month, so I don't know who you're scamming over here, except for people with greenhouses, right? But still, <laughs> uh, yeah, gold star cheese. Definitely want to get rid of that. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Get rid of the mayonnaise. There you go. Void mayonnaise as well. Uh, blue jazz, uh, flower honey. Get rid of that as well. And I don't think I need to get rid of anything else. And I have two cherries in my inventory randomly. Leeks. I guess I'll keep that. Uh, then we do, we do have two frozen geodes. So, uh, oh yeah, Clint isn't open right now. Man, I think it closes at four. Uh, but yeah, because we have two frozen geodes, we could open up one with him. And if it's something good, we can open up the other one at home. But we have Evelyn over here. Let's talk to her. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. You know, like some ASMR stuff there. Ah, yeah, makes sense there, Evelyn. As kids, we hunted for seashells after the tide went out. Those were the days. Yeah, I'm sure they were. I'm like, you can hunt for seashells like right now. Like, what's stopping you? And then Alex over here looking at the dog. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? What? You want to talk to me? <laughs> I'm busy. What are you busy? Looking at a dog? That's it? And then, hey, look at that. We got Maru and Penny over here just hanging out. Cool. Let's see what they're up to. I don't oh, know. I can't walk between the benches like that. It's kind of weird. Uh, but anyways, Penny over here. I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. I wonder why, because Mom Pam always messing things up over there. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. Tell me about it, right? Pretty sure we've heard that before. Hi. Yeah, how's it going, Mario? Do you have fun working on the farm? Yeah, I do. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, what about you? Do you have farm... Or do you... I'm giving up on that already. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah, and then there's supposed to be a thing with Shane or something like that, right? Uh... Mar Mar yeah, she closed at five, I believe, right? And so uh, we don't have any time, and I, I don't, I don't know if we want to talk to Haley right now. Uh, yeah, see, there, there's Mari. She's heading over to the to the saloon, I believe, right? So a little bit too late for that cutscene you guys are talking about. I'm sure. Unless, can we still go in there and have a cutscene? Or no, oh, I guess not. Okay, I guess it's too late. Okay, yep, that's unfortunate. Uh, maybe next episode, if we're not too busy you now with the first of the month and all that kind of jazz, right? But I guess we can move around a little bit faster. Let's take another uh, pepper popper, even though I could have easily given that to Shane. <laughs> Yeah, let's get another pepper popper going and we'll probably have to end off the episode here pretty soon uh, after we go to the traveling merchant person and go cut down a bunch of stumps right so let's see bok choy oh wait hold on wait what so she's selling summer stuff a little bit early interesting but 
I, I'm like, I could literally wait like a day and get like grow my own bok choy, right? And the tulip, summer spangles, slime, cave carrot, bug me. Is there anything actually good here, anchovy? Do we have that? Chanterelle, large egg. Five rare seeds again? Someone said that the five rare seeds thing is actually pretty rare in and of itself. Should I do it again? Ah, oh, man, that's 5,000. So we're going to go down to 12,845. I'm like, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Uh, we have seven seeds, I think, right now. And we can't do anything here until the fall. So, man. Hold on. L l let, me look at the, uh, let me look at the community center thing real quick for the fish. Do we have anything for the ancho? Uh, I'm pretty sure ancho. We, we've got those before, right? Wait, where is the ancho? I'm pretty sure we need that for some of them. Maybe it was for uh, whatever that is right there. Uh, maybe that's what that is. But... Uh, I don't want to spend 5,000 here. I'm like, I can, get, I can get good money by selling the gold star uh, cauliflowers, all the kind of jazz. I think I'm going to do it again. So we're going to go up to 12 rare seeds. Oh, this is going to be crazy if I do this. Let's do it again. Boom. Okay, cool. Don't want to buy the house plant. Don't want to buy like literally anything else here because it's just like a scam. So I guess we'll just go over here to the forest thing and uh, cut down some of the stumps and probably end off the episode right there at like 7 p.m. or something like that again, right? Start looking forward to next episode where, uh, hold on, any of the slimes over here prismatic or, nah, they're just regular old green, green, typical slimes. Nothing too crazy about these guys. Man, ah, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll kill them with the, uh, the axe. Hey, look at that, we got double, uh, wild horse rash right there. Yeah, forgot about that. And yeah, mahogany seeds, I guess we'll plant down those mahogany seeds again once we get back to the farm and end off the episode and all that kind of jazz, right? But here's just a second, yeah, we have a slime attacking us, so might want to watch it. I'm like, I'm literally losing only, uh, HP. <laughs> Every time we get hit by those guys, so it's not that big of a deal, but I'll, I'll still kill them. Yeah, there you go. Not that big of a deal, but yeah. I'm like, they're, they're a little bit of a nuisance, a little bit of an annoyance, but at least I got rid of them right there, right? Let's go down here, cut down some of the other stumps, and I guess we'll start ending off the episode, and therefore ending off springtime, except for like 7 p.m. or whatever it's going to be whenever I actually end off the video, right? So, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I guess I'll uh, save the game like right there. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell. So YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out, where we're going to be starting summer of year two. So that's going to be very, very exciting, especially to see what all the plants and stuff like that are, especially with all the new crops and all the kind of jazz and with our new like layout for our farm and ranching area. Right. So that's going to be really exciting. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Whoa!